Yeah. You hear that stupid shit? Yeah. Yeah. Recording in progress just because we don't know that we hit the fucking record button. Ladies and, and gentlemen. <laughs> no, please go on. Come on. Throw it in there. Oh, I had to confirm the uh, it's recording. I'm like, I know. And if it says got it, I'm like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> well, you know, for those down in Tennessee, we just want to make sure you understand. That's all. That's Completely all. understandable. That's all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Witching Hour podcast. I'm your host, as always, John Royce. And with me together, my dearest friend, my brother from another utter, Tony Hack Covington of Hack's Horror Show, and from many, many rings of wrestling death. Yes, John, thank you for having me back, brother. Uh, that's true. Uh, I've been doing so much stuff. I'm happy to see you, man. Uh, we, even though we pretty much talk every day. We do. And even if it's just, you know, older brother stuff, just busting my balls saying, hey, you look stupid in that picture. <laughs> or or calling me a bitch and then I don't hear from you. <laughs> stuff I, like that, but it's I, always great to I see I just you, can't bro. handle it when you start to cry. I get, I get all emotional every time I see you get weepy-eyed. I can't uh, handle it, you know. No. Jake starts throwing shit out there about you know how you never pass a sign at the roller coaster, so that you must be this tall to ride, and you get upset, and he starts throwing out more short jokes, and you start <laughs> bitching at him about not eating real taco <laughs> food from Taco Bell or Seven Eleven taquitos, <laughs> and you know then then everybody gets upset, and we don't talk for at least two days. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, let's set the record straight. Sour cream is fucking delicious. <laughs> it's delicious, Jake. And second of all, Jake, uh, I love you, brother, but we're the same fucking height. <laughs> That's what he don't want to admit. We are the same height. He's okay. like, no, we're not. And I show him a picture of us side by side. I'm like, bro. <laughs> okay. Well, to prove both of you right or wrong. So, listeners, I told. I told Tony right before the show that I have stolen a bunch of his pictures and I have made a little collective slideshow to do a nice intro to the show tonight. And one of those pictures is actually of my two dear brothers, Tony and Jake Perry, in an embrace. They both have clothes on in this picture, which is nice. That way I could use it for the publication. <laughs> but so we will find out exactly where they measure up, at least above the belt. So. With that being said, Jake Perry, we love you. We miss you. And for yes. all those listeners, both of you that actually listen to this episode, Jake Perry is our dearest friend and brother at heart who we yes. are referring to. So Tony Hack Covington, Hack's Horror Show. Tony, fill everybody in, man. What's new? What's going on? Uh, with Hack's Horror Show, uh, it is doing great. I was at the TV station here in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. And there was a piece of paper on the board. Uh, they, they had me co-host another television show. And I produced a couple other ones for them. But there was a piece of paper on the wall at somebody's desk. And it was color cord. And me, just being me, I was like, ooh, look at all the colors. I thought it was a toy, something I could play with. Or maybe some type of fun puzzle. I just saw all the colors. And I was like, great. Because everything's gray now. Like, everybody's house, the fucking McDonald's. Everything's just painted black and gray. Yes, and I was like, is. oh colors <laughs> and and i got excited and i walked over there and i was like oh this is a ratings chart okay and uh, i saw that uh my shit was the highest rated even though they put it on at 2 45 in the morning <laughs> they put it on super late and that's just because of all my uh shenanigans i'm gonna say shenanigans <laughs> shenanigans is, is a good uh, word yeah they, they put it on <laughs> right before three in the morning <laughs> And uh, right when everybody's getting ready to wake up out of bed, they make sure to turn it off. Like that. that is when the true, true viewers are really watching now. Yes. Think about that. Think but, about uh, it. They were the ones who will stay up the latest to watch it. It is true because I see this Both entire them. list. Yes. Uh, yes. All two of them. <laughs> the, the program director who's got to be up late to put it on. And uh, my grandmother, who falls asleep with the television. <laughs> right before the Pledge of Allegiance comes on, then we go to snow. Right. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, my God, Tony, uh, I'm so proud of you, man. That is awesome. Congratulations. That is beautiful news. Thank you. But I saw a lot of people were in gray, which is not a good sign. It means nobody's, uh, maybe just a couple of people are tuning in or flipping through the channels. 
uh, red means uh, nobody's watching. They're gonna they're you're on the getting canceled, <laughs> right? And then the the green is uh, everybody's watching. It's a very high rated show, and for them, a high rating is you know forty to sixty thousand viewers mm -hmm. is a decent rating for them. And mine's right there, glowing green uh, in a bunch of gray, but it's also on at two in the morning. Uh, I I have several episodes that haven't I haven't released yet, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know why I haven't released them. Uh, the first one is very special from uh, our brother Jake. Right. He did the very first episode, something cool for a uh, Hacks Horror Show. The right. other ones I haven't released yet because I'm like, I, I, I don't know if it's the way I filmed them or what, but I'm like, I don't know if it's hacky enough. Okay. Like, I don't know if like. So, uh, so it doesn't live up to your level for whatever reason you can't figure it out, but you're just not ready to let it go yet. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm, yeah. um, I got great stuff filmed, great stuff hashed out. I got great movies, two movies I'm waiting on the rights to get signed off. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to, I'm very proud to be hosting these movies because uh, everybody used public domain movies, but I will dig down a rabbit hole and pull something out where Jake's calling. He's like, where did you find this film? <laughs> oh my God. Like, how did you know about this? And I'm like, well, I talked to this one guy in Delaware who made a film in 99 and he left it in a house in a wall somebody found it and now i got it somehow <laughs> like I stuff have, like that i have um, honestly wondered where you find some of the films that you show in your show i, I can't give away my secret i know i know i know and i respect that i do brother i am so happy but <laughs> i'm i'm so proud of you man that is awesome Thank and you. it sounds like to me it's time for you to have a sit down w w with the television network and say you see that pretty color wheel yes you, you see where i am well, it's time to start bringing me down to like 2.30, maybe even 2.15 time slot. <laughs> I'm, yes. I'm just yes. saying, dude, that's awesome. I'm so happy about that. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, brother. But of also, I, I think part of the thing was like where they got me hosting the wrestling show mm -hmm. is because they wanted to put Hack in a prime time slot, but they're like, <laughs> we got to like, we, we got to uh, try to control you just a little bit so the whole time i'm hosting that show it's live right. so if anybody sees me hosting the wrestle show uh you will wrestle talk live you will uh you will see me biting my tongue a lot because <laughs> i just want to be myself but right. I, i'm doing uh, they do me favors so i'm, I'm trying to give them one back i can fully uh -huh. understand that is awesome man oh my god that that is the greatest news i've gotten today all week yes as a matter of fact the, the, they they gave me a, a little hall of fame thing which is all great and everything and that was that was a bucket list i'm the first and only inductee ever uh, they they said they they said well we don't think anybody's going to top all the work that you've done right so you just get the hall of fame to yourself pretty much <laughs> and i was like well sweet i'm glad you've been on 40 years and i'm the first guy and i'm lazy i'm lazy as fuck i'm the first one to like get this honor and i'm like i barely fucking do anything <laughs> like, well shit man maybe uh, i mean from here it's going to be to Times square you're going to be watching the ball drop next year you're going to be announcing all that shit i would I and would. i would i would love i would love that you know the country the tennessee would come out in me oh if yeah. i seen that <laughs> if i seen that ball drop because i would stand in Times square and be like god damn would you look at that son like <laughs> just uh, be like hell i did something <laughs> bringing bringing it full country into new york City. yes that would be you awesome. just not understand anything i say at all there'd be no <laughs> enunciation no pronunciation just hey hell far look at that <laughs> pull up in a pickup truck gun rack and tote in the back window and there you go well yeah what what else do people do <laughs> <laughs> oh shit so you just made a cameo in a movie that you were talking to me about, I was wondering if you might want to fill the listeners in where you actually played Hack. Yes. In honest to God, one of the best roles. I was ear to ear grin. Folks, I I when after Tony fills you in on this, please go take a walk, a look at this video. I do not have the rights to it. I do not have the video clip to show to add to the show. His performance as Hack was by far the best thing I'd seen all year from anybody, any role, means, any film. 
that incredible. means a lot. That that means a lot. Uh, uh, it, it's uh, he comes to kill. Uh, from Strange Films, uh, with August Aguilar, Aguilar, August Aguilar from Strange Film made He Comes to Kill. Uh, I believe now he has it released on YouTube, uh, free for people to watch. But I get to make this cameo as myself, which I'm so proud and so happy to do. And I got to do it with uh, Kofi Jones. Kofi Jones plays Krampus at all the events and cons around here. And uh, actually is on Wrestle Talk Live now, too, as a segment host. Um, mm -hmm. But Kofi is this Uber driver. And uh, he picks up Hack in the middle of Podunk, Tennessee. And uh, the director's just like, uh, I wrote, he wrote stuff down and I was reading it over and I was like, I'll say all this. I was like, but the only person I've known so far that could write for Hack, the character Hack, was Jake Perry. Because uh, when I did the cameo for Tapeworm Z, which I'm absolutely proud of, uh, when I went out there, he wrote it out and I was like, damn, this is exactly what I would say and do and be like. He, he he knew it. Uh, August uh, was still new to it, and he wrote it out, and I was like, this is this is great. And he's like, I know what you're going to say. He's like, I had to put words on paper. He said, this is A, this is B, get me from A to B, and you just improv it. Right. So I'm like, oh, I just say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> and, uh, and you did. Yes, I did. Uh, so he's just like, roll. So we do the scene. And I'm just going off and just uh, bantering back and forth with, with Kofi uh, playing the Uber driver. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying this off the wall shit, <laughs> just whatever I can. August is laughing so much that the camera is shaking and he's picking up on audio that we had to stop, reset up the scene. We shot it seven times. Oh and the God. seventh time he didn't watch, he just has his head down. <laughs> And he's just biting his lip just because he's trying to power through it to get the shot because he can't control his laughter. Right. Uh, I'm not sure which take he used. Maybe he chopped them all up because he starts <laughs> laughing. Uh, one part was left in because the Uber driver has a gun on me. And he's telling me to get the fuck out of the car. Well, it has automatic safety locks. I'm about to break the handle off. And I'm like, well, let me out of the fucking car. It's locked. <laughs> that was a fuck up. But it, August found it so hilarious. He's like, I want to keep that in. Go for the lock. You can't open the door. Say, well, let me <laughs> fucking out. And then say whatever. And I, I'm like, tell him I farted in there. And maybe I left Coke in there. Right. And then this killer of the movie. Uh, I, I'm now walking through and I'm cussing cars, saying I got to be at Doug's discount tobacco, used tires, and grocery outlet for an autograph sign. <laughs> uh, because I had six people waiting on me. Just I went from just destroying the Uber driver to like self-deprecating myself. <laughs> but Hack but Hack never knows like anything's wrong. He thinks right. he's the best and greatest and the best and a good guy. He thinks he's a good guy, but he's naive about how evil he is <laughs> and, the, and the things he says. Like like if I shot like one episode, I'm branching off, but one episode I cut a guy's hand off for the Christmas special. And he's like, no, he has no hand now. And he's screaming and I'm going to make it in the cookies. But I'm like, why are you pissed off? It's Christmas. We're making cookies. Why are you mad? And it's because I just whacked his hand off with a uh, machete. Right. Um, but we're making cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Everything so, should be good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jake, Jake describes that he's like, Hack would go to read to children and he'd pull out penthouse. <laughs> And like, you know, getting ready to read the prison letters, you know, they send in and they would be like, you can't read that to kids. And I'd be like, what do you think? I'm a monster. I wouldn't read this to children. I'm just going to show them the pictures. Them the pictures. <laughs> uh, you know, Jake, so, uh, yeah, Jake told me that when he wrote you um, in his film that he knew you and knew exactly how to write hack. He, he did. To a T. He did. And uh the well well what uh he comes to kill uh when the drive when the driver throws me out i'm walking talking about i'd be doug's discount tobacco and use tires for the autograph session uh the, the i get hit with the lights and you know of course people are blinded by lights but most of the time like every time you see a movie where they're blinded they're like oh god i can't see and i was like what if hack was even a smart ass about how bright your your lights are 
So I'm like, oh, God, what are you trying to give me a fucking x-ray? You like a piece of shit? Like, turn those high beams off. Like, everything I'm complaining about. The driver pulls up. And, of course, the killer the whole time has this uh, sick, very sick, uh, I believe, David Brandon, uh, the guy over at Dark House Entertainment, found that mask uh, for that film. And it's this very greenish, witchy-looking mask on this uh, killer. The actual killer, you know, he's got long gray. It looks like John here. <laughs> he's got got the got the got the big gray beard and the long gray hair, and then he has this uh, green mask over his face, and you and you see like the beard and the hair coming out. But he just picked up a thing, uh, Michael Myers ish. Okay. Uh, for it. but you know he has a green face, and this is the first time I've seen the killer on set. He put it on, he pulled up in the car. So when he rolled the window down, the first thing comes out of my mouth, I'm like, "Oh shit, do you have syphilis?" And I'm like, "Oh, I'm just." <laughs> You know, kidding. Like, you don't see fear in my eyes until <laughs> I realize that I've gotten in the car with the wrong guy. Right. And we start to drive off. And I think the last line I get to say, I'm like nervously talking to him. I'm like, well, you know, you, you know, Doug, right? <laughs> and then, you know, it's like driving <laughs> off. I'm going to set up for the sequel. So I guess the sequel to start off with like just Hack Lane or Dead and him just stepping over me or something. Right. I hope. I hope. I hope if you're listening, August, I, I need that payday book. <laughs> the key is acting up. I mean, the 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 the, the hearse. <laughs> the, uh, the 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 yeah. I need a new side mirror. I busted mine off. But with uh, Jake in Tapeworm Z, it was phenomenal. There, there's uh, Alien Armageddon happening, and aliens are here with people. They're trying to save everybody in the middle of these two heroes trying to save the day. Here I come just walking in the fucking door. Like, what is Hack doing in the desert walking around? And, of course, Jake, being Jake, I wanted to wear one of my gimmick T-shirts. I wanted to wear the Hack's horse show shirt. Right. And, of course, Jake's like, no, no, you can't wear it. And goes and finds me the tightest fitting Ben Franklin T-shirt with Ben Franklin wearing sunglasses on it. Of course. <laughs> and says America on it. <laughs> and I, uh, I have wrestling boots on for some fucking reason. Uh, and and my pants and he found these pants too uh no belt so i have a rope belt <laughs> and like i'm just dressed so slummy walking around the desert with a chainsaw come in the door and i'm like hi kids or ladies instantly start talking shit like i am the uh hero uh and then slip and fall and <laughs> The, I don't want to give away too much for the movie, but if you see the trailer or anything, Tate Z was absolute tra- uh, treat. I can't thank Jake enough. I promoted that thing more than anything. Like yes, I think I love it. I think I love it more than he does. Well, probably uh, not, but I, I, possibly, I really look close to my way. And small world, because out of that film, you also gained a new wrestling partner. And slash yes. adventure. Did I ever? Oh my! Oh my God! <laughs> Michael Ocho Torana, uh, 200 plus films and television shows. Holy shit. Uh, that day on set, him and his lovely, beautiful wife, there, Cece's there. And I'm just talking back and forth with Ocho. Mm-hmm. And uh, Ocho's an amazing guy, and uh, he, he does so many good things. Uh, but he's also crazy. He's also like, he's got that same, almost same mentality I do, where it's like, Whatever it takes to put on the best thing for the people. Like, I don't care what people in the industry, I don't care what other horror hosts think of me. Uh, I don't give a fuck. All I care about are the fans watching. Mm -hmm. And I pass up on big money for them. Because I'm like, uh, people put stuff my way. And I'm like, I can't do it because I wouldn't be staying true to Hack. And Hack belongs to the people. So in return, I might get that payoff, but I'm not staying true to them. And they have wrote me, you know, they're like, please don't take it away. I've tweaked it some in wrestling, and then they're like outside trying to tip my car over. Like, how dare you take this away from us? <laughs> so uh, they're, they're letting me slide on stuff now a little bit because I'm like, hey, I'm broke. I need the money. Fuck off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got to do this. I, I got to take this job. So they're easing up on me a little bit. But, uh, no, we got uh, Michael Ocho Torana. Oh, my God. Uh, he he's here with me all the time. We've uh, become tag team champions. That's awesome. Uh, I I had a match with another horror host, uh, Slash Cooper, uh, from Slash's Graveyard Tales. Right. And that was gonna be the swan song. That was gonna be I'm it. I'm done. I'm walking away. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I won Horror Host of the Year. Uh, the, the, the trophy was presented to me after the match. I'm all bleeding, feeling emotional. The people were actually screaming, thank you, hack, instead of saying hacks a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's nationwide what you're doing there, John. <laughs> it's, uh, and, and I embrace it though. So I'm like, Hey, they're saying my name. They're like, yeah, but they're calling you a bitch. I'm like, but they're saying my name. <laughs> like Either a bitch hack. It's, it's pretty much it's gonna change together. It. it is. <laughs> <laughs> It, it works good together. It can be a right. compound word, or you can just change one out for the other. Uh, but uh, no, and and they make their own T-shirts. Some of them have my face, and uh, and it's kind of weird. Now when I'm thinking about, damn, that's that's not good. The fans made their own T-shirt. It's got bitch written across the back. You didn't see that part though, did you? Yeah, like no, saying. no, no. It says hacks a bitch in blue letters on a red shirt with a picture of me. That they printed on it, and then, then it says "Run, Hack, Run." Run, Hack, Run. And then Slash started uh, the uh, Hacks of Bitch thing, brought it back, and he All brought right. back a new T-shirt. So now I see the blend of the Hacks of Bitch T-shirt with the red one that they made, and then the one that he had done where it's black and white. Right. And then uh, you can see it on the show. I wear one of. The, I'll wear both those T-shirts. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I got a convention coming up uh, on the 24th and 25th, uh, and that Saturday there when I'm amongst the people and it's the busiest. I think I got it already packed up to wear the black and white hacks a bitch shirt <laughs> at the convention. Uh, but uh, no, with Ocho there we won tag titles and the wrestling thing, and it's just it, and it keeps going. And then we've done uh, a few other little side projects where we just have a quick cameo, me and him together in a movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we also filmed in front of all the people there, uh, John Russo from uh, the writer of Night of the Living Dead and right. Everything for Zombies <laughs> Ever. Uh, my uncle John is a zombie part two uh hacks in there too i come to the ring carrying the 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 zombie on the chain right um and then he's fighting eight ball which is ocho out there we filmed that from the live crowd uh for that film and in the film i'm wearing the hacks a bitch shirt (laughs) in the movie so i was like john russo film let's let's immortalize this uh it's going hey now now making the hacks a bitch t-shirt because i'm like if it's selling uh, I'm all about it. So. God damn right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> now you made a post uh, within the last week, something about stepping down from something. Uh, I did. It was the uh, uh, the in ring activities right now. As far as me competing in a match, uh, I just had the we just had the one tag match, mm-hmm. and I'm feeling good. We're going good. Everything's going okay, uh, and it's all going all right. But after the match is over, uh, I couldn't get my air back. I could not get enough oxygen in. I thought I was going to pass out. I thought I was going to trouble. I thought I might need more oxygen. And I'm getting older. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm getting older. And I'm getting bigger. At the same time, it's like gravity's just crushing me. <laughs> I cannot believe you of all people are saying you're getting older and getting bigger to someone like me. Yeah, I'm I'm turning I, I, into I'm, my I, big brother John. Uh, <laughs> I'm turning into God, God help us all. <laughs> uh, I do have matching glasses, man. I like those new ones you got on, but I I got the same black ones, uh, yeah. no. and I can't see shit without them. Like I gotta have them, or I'm like, where am I? Who who's talking to me? And then they're like, you're in the refrigerator. Like pull your pants up, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like I couldn't see. Uh, <laughs> oh my dear God. I was like, I was just trying to help it over the fence. I swear, <laughs> I don't know what's uh, going on here. But no, it, it's just the wear and tear on me. And uh, I've always done hard physical labor jobs. Yep. Um, I, I, I've tried to do, uh, like I said, I went to art school mm-hmm. uh, in Pittsburgh there. But that was like, uh, like just a semester. And everybody's like, you're a talented artist. And I was like, I hate painting. I hate drawing. They're like, but it's so beautiful. I'm like, but I want to be on television. Fuck this. Uh, The job placement with Disney and Pixar was like 85%. I was almost guaranteed a job as an animator. But I was like, I'm not going to California. I got people to fight and horror movies. They would never understand you out there anyway. 
No, no. I heard everybody. you fucking say. <laughs> no, no. Everybody be like, what? What did that new guy say? <laughs> who's that guy in the what, refrigerator what with guy? his pants off? The yeah. guy whose mouth don't move and he talks through his nose. <laughs> he you know, and he's got the <laughs> thick glasses you can see into the future with. <laughs> that guy. Oh, Christ. I am, man. I hate to say this. Um, So, because Zoom has gotten to be a money-hungry bitch, just like all the other freestanding uh, platforms... Zoom. Um, Tony and I were talking about this right before the show. Uh, Zoom, we used to have a full hour of free recording, then it went down to 45 minutes. Now we're down to half an hour. So, anybody out there that wants to actually contribute to my show, allow me to pay the $20 a month for it. Let me know. I'll then I'll, I'll set you up with my Venmo account. Um, so unfortunately, Tony, we are down to about eight minutes now. Oh, no. So, oh, no. Tell me about everything that's coming up. I want you to plug everything where everyone can find Hack, Tony, yes, everything. You can find me on uh, Facebook uh, and check out Hack's Horror Show or my actual shoot page is uh, Tony Covington. Uh, and that's that's me. <laughs> and if you message me, I will talk to you. <laughs> like, don't ever be afraid of that. Uh, on Facebook, uh, Instagram, I'm on there, but I'm hardly on there. Do not send me a message on Instagram and take me forever before I see it. it. It works and then it don't work. It goes in and out. Right. Uh, kind of like Tony. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Uh, you can find me on there. Uh, you can find Hacks Horror Show on it. Got some uh, of the coolest you could, damn t-shirts you could ever want to, by the way. Yes. Awesome and we shirts. have a brand new, uh, it's about to get released, about to get dropped. We have the brand new six inch hack action figure. Uh, that's coming out right now. So if you get any of your wrestlers from your local like uh, Walmart or whatever, they match up with this toy. So it, it's uh, it's just about life size. Just to let you know, yeah, <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, according according this, this to Jake, is, it's not much smaller than what than this is six inches, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we got that coming out. We, we've got new T-shirts coming in, thanks uh, to my beautiful wife, Shanna. She's the merchandise master over there. She's got new shirts coming in. There you go. Uh, but you can find Hacks Horse Show on uh, Vimeo. Uh, check it out on Vimeo. People are bootlegging it, putting it on YouTube. So if you search it up on YouTube, find Ball Boys. Got a bunch of episodes. Uh, we're airing on the Monster Channel, uh, Knoxville Community Media. It's on there and other places. Um I'm not sure if it's still on Tingler Television, but Eulogy, I hope it is. Uh, as far as I know, it is still live on my Roku. Yes, and, and it is live on go. Roku. Uh, the the Fire Stick app is about to be out there, so you can get it on Fire TV. When you find it on Roku, you can add it just like Netflix, anything else, and enjoy the show. And before the end of this month, before the end of this month, they will be brand new episodes out and about launched out. Uh, I've taken my time with them, and I, I have to apologize to everybody for taking so long with them. But we're going to put those out. The 24th and 25th, we will be at MagCon at Pellissippi State, the uh, college there. Uh, for some fucking reason, I guess all the scientists uh, were busy, and all the good people that college students should listen to are doing something else. So I will be the keynote speaker for that event. There you go. Uh, I cannot wait to tell him, be like, well, I've told him before in a panel, I was like, I didn't go to the school, uh, barely even went to college. My wife got, you know, she's got degrees from here. You should talk to her. <laughs> uh, I'm just a guy in a fucking black t-shirt. <laughs> I'm like, I just kicked open the door to the TV station, said, hey, I got an idea. Right. And uh, they didn't throw me out. So uh, wow. blame them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you can find me on social media and I will try to keep everybody updated and new episodes coming out. Uh, write and call me anytime. And from my understandings, um, Tony's actually got a very secret guest, special guest uh, that only makes his appearance annually once a year during the month yes. of December, who usually has the rest of the year off incognito, who lives up yes. the North Pole. Just as a subtle hint and is supposedly yes. going to be making a guest appearance. And I'm very excited, show. very yes. excited for that because everybody's like, where's your Halloween special? Where's these all these specials? Every season, you only get one special. 
and that's a Christmas special because uh, a hack hack does Christmas. So we get a Christmas special every year, and this Christmas special is going to be better than all of them before. And I, I cannot wait for this guest. This is the main guest. We got Madman Pondo. We have uh, Michael Ocho Tirana. We have so many guest appearances on this one. Uh, David Barnabas Specter. We have so many people uh, make a special appearance, but this is the most special coming up on the Christmas special. Can't wait to definitely be a part of that one, Tony. Um, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you so much for joining us on an unfortunately short video interview with the one and only the amazing Tony Hack Covington of Hack's Horror Show. Be sure to check him out on all platforms, including online as well as your own TV. Everyone's streaming, so go check him out. Support the man. He does the entire production by himself. Yes. Right? If for no other reason, support the man. Give him some credit. He definitely deserves it. And he is a dear brother and best friend to me. And so I would consider it a personal favor of my own. Tony, thank you so much. Please give all my love to the family, and I cannot wait to talk to you again soon. Same, same, brother. Give all, all my love, and I love you, brother. Thank you for having me. Oh, anytime you know that. I love you, too. Ladies and gentlemen, John Roysland here. Thank you for joining the Witching Hour podcast, and remember, as always, to please keep it evil. Yes. There we go, brother. Fuck yes. Fuck yeah, good show. Damn, you said 30 minutes. I went by really quickly. I know. And unfortunately, as when it gives me those last 10 minutes, the yeah. timer is still going. So once it hits zero, it will hang up on you and I talking right now, too. Okay. So, so I call it short just so that way the show doesn't at least get booted. Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing worse than getting cut off as opposed to, unfortunately, last week when it didn't even record when I was talking to, uh, was it William Instone, the director yes. of... Uh, uh something something bluff i can't remember the name of his show or his, his film but yeah i was so pissed off dude had a good you know he was a great interview he talked fast to be able to keep it going and uh i had eat, i was so pissed off i waited till the next day and said hey um i got a problem and he's down at cult classic uh convention this weekend in texas yeah so He's agreed to redo the whole thing next week sometime with me. Oh, thank God, man. Yeah, but that yeah. that still sucks. That, that really sucks that it didn't record that. Hey, can you do me a personal? Yeah. Um, I did an episode about a week ago with a horror model yeah. named, named Corey Colley. I don't know if you saw the show or not. Yes, uh, she, she's got her own CDC. If you look it up on Facebook, CDC uh, official, all of her own photography that she does of herself in the, all these characters. Yeah, um, she. I was talking to her. I said, "Look, I said you seriously need to go to a convention as a veteran, yes, get some high glossies." And she's done a little bit of acting. I said, "Just go in costume, partial head gear, headgear, and just try and make some money off of it." Mm. she doesn't she's not really aware of the convention circuit down there and she lives somewhere in tennessee really yep i was almost going to say hey if it's worth i don't know how many how often you do episodes but if you ever wanted to have another guest spot i guarantee she'd be a part of it no i would i'd love that okay love to have that on the show and then if you're uh and I'll also uh, reach out too and tell them, you know, about all these different conventions and everything. And, th and those high gloss pictures would they would sell, dude, man. And dude. and if anything, it's more exposure. It gets you in the community with the people. That word of mouth is better mm -hmm. than anything. I told her I tried to dig up whatever information I could as far as conventions in that area because I knew a couple people, and obviously you popped into my head first. Um. But uh, I'm going to send you her link on on Facebook. Just yes. do yourself a favor. Go to the photo section and just scroll through. All this shit she does in her house, in her bathroom, whatever she can come up with, it's pretty damn, it, dude, it's dark. But it's all out of pocket. She does her own makeup, her own photography, everything. And she's yes. an awesome person. She really is. 
because because the fanboys the fanboys come around to Knoxville and like Indianapolis and all that stuff. And fanboys, one thing, but uh, we got uh, FrankenCon, which is just a big horror convention. Right. I know they would absolutely love that. Like I was just plugging uh, MagCon. Mm-hmm. Shit, I forgot. I forgot to plug. 